Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. It is new catalog day. I'm so excited that the January through June mini catalog is launching today. Hopefully you got yours in the mail. I sent all mine to my customers who order from me in the middle of December. So I know some of you are having some postal delays, but hopefully they are arriving soon. If you're not already shopping with a demonstrator and you would like to shop for me, let me know. I'd be happy to send you a catalog. It's also the first day of celebration. There is a change this year to celebration. Usually it's January, February, March, and we have some extra stuff that comes out in the middle, but this year we're going to do celebration twice. So we have January and February right now, and then we're going to have celebration again when the next mini catalog comes out in July and August. So super exciting. So this will be the only celebration brochure. We have some awesome items to choose from, including some designer paper, some stamp sets, um, and more stamp sets and more designer paper. You can get one free for each, uh, for every $50 that you order, or some of the gifts are available with a $100 order uh, here in the U.S. There's also specials. If you host a party or place a $300 order, you will get the Punch Party stamp set uh, for free. I just placed an order today and got mine. I can't wait to get it and play. It coordinates with several of our punches, including the rectangular postage punch, the um, the new oval punch and then the heart punch pack and then the third way you can celebrate is to join Stampin' Up! You can join my family during celebration and get all of this designer paper for free. That is five packages of six by six designer paper in all these different color families. This designer paper is going to come out in the next annual catalog so this is like an awesome sneak peek. Normally uh, the starter kit is always $99 and you can choose $125 in products of your choice from the mini catalog if you want and then it's just 99 plus tax so if you've been thinking about joining i would absolutely love to have you join my team of jubilant stampers we have over 120 um team members who live all across the country um, and we do lots of stuff to connect virtually so i would love to tell you more about that you just let me know if you want some more information today though i'm focusing on the mini catalog i want to jump in and i want to show you all of the new awesome product um, so I've got it broken down in order that it is in the catalog. So we're going to gonna do a catalog walkthrough. I'm going to show you some um, swap samples that I've received from other demonstrators, some that I've made myself. And you can get a little bit of all of the designer paper that I'm going to show you. You can try out all the ribbon and the embellishments by signing up for one of my product shares. I do this every time that there's a new catalog that comes out. Um, so here's the tiny URL that you can use, tinyurl.com slash jjproductshare. It includes six by six of all of the designer paper. It includes the Dandy Garden um, note card and envelope. It includes a yard of all the ribbon and some of all the embellishments. It is $42 plus shipping or local porch pickup. And this is only for stampers in the U.S. Plus, I have a special offer you can add on the Happy Thoughts stamp set at a discount. So check out all the information and reserve your product share here. I placed the first order for all the goodies. So if you've already signed up, uh, make sure you pay your invoice by this weekend, and I'll get those out in the mail. Early next week is the plan. Um, and here's a link, too, if you'd like to join my team, tinyurl.com slash SU for Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. Or if you just want to shop, then and you can do that in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. Here's the brand new host code. Um, if you forget your host code, then that's all right. We can always uh, take care of it and add it on later. If you're ordering more than 150, don't use the host code because then you get your own host rewards. Hey, hey, everybody, give me a thumbs up or a heart if you can see and hear me okay. It's the last day of winter break for my kids, so <laughs> I'm running a little bit late today. I planned to go live earlier, but they were still eating and the dogs were going crazy. But I'm ready to share with you. I forgot to count, but I've got so many card samples. I've got two boxes. So let's jump right into this. I do have some celebration um, samples to share. That's going to be another video because I have so much. I just can't possibly do it all in one. All right. So new mini catalog. Love the way how they're doing this. So it opens up like this. this is fantastic. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. The new 
mini stamp and cut and emboss machine has released today as well. So you can get this in your starter kit. You can get this in the online store. It's $60 for the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. Um, and that qualifies for a celebration gift. So when you, when you purchase this, then you can choose a celebration item and it counts towards the rest of your order. So Super, super exciting. This reminded me of it. I know you guys have been waiting, and today is the day. Lucy is now available for everybody. Yay! All right, so new catalog. We've got some awesome new kits. I love this for if you're just really busy and you just want to uh, craft without having to think about it. These kits are fantastic for that. So I got this one. I haven't made the cards up yet. This Hello Dear Friend is an all-inclusive card kit. That means everything that you need is already in it. So this is a really great great thing for our new stampers or to give as a gift because it includes the stamp set. It includes the clear block. It includes the ink spot. I should have brought mine over so you can see. Let me see. Oh, is it in? Yep. Right here within reach. So you can see I haven't ordered it, but look at all these goodies. There's the clear block. You get envelopes and the cards and everything that you need to make some fun cards. Misty Moonlight is the color that comes in there. So I'm excited to break this out because sometimes I, I'm not feeling... I'm not feeling it. Sometimes my mojo is missing. <laughs> so I love kits too. Here's another one. You are amazing. This project kit, um, the stamp set and the ink pads are all separately. So you just get the box with the kit um, and it makes some really cute and bright cards. Mm, love, love, love the foil accents on these. So this is really fun. I feel like my teenager would really um, love making these cards. So uh, if you have a, a crafty teenager, preteen, gosh, all my girls, really. My youngest is 10 and she, she would love to do that too. I feel like I need another box. Let me see. I'm going to keep myself organized or I'm just going to make a mess. Okay, so... Next up is, oh my gosh, yes, the Flowering Cactus Product Medley. So this, they've been doing a few of these in each catalog. So the Product Medley includes um, a stamp set and dies and six by six designer paper plus adhesive die cuts and accessories like twine and these little paper or felt flowers. Now I haven't ordered it. Actually, I did order it. It hasn't come yet though. Um, so I'm super excited to play with this. I've seen some really fun and gorgeous samples. So if you're loving cactuses and succulents. I think you're really going to love this. And just the colors are fantastic on this. The Highland Heather. Um, what do we got? Mossy Meadow. Pear Pizzazz. I'm looking. Oh, here we go. Mint Macaron. Highland Heather. Calypso Coral. Pear Pizzazz. Mossy Meadow. Oh my gosh, I love these. Okay, you guys are being so quiet. <laughs> so um, you have to leave me a comment and let me know. If you see something that you like or that you already ordered, then please leave a comment and tell me. I want to know what you guys are liking so I know what to show you um, as we get started with this catalog. I want to know what you want to see. So if you want to see more of something, make sure you leave a comment and let me know. The first suite in the catalog is the Love You Always suite. This is a mega suite, which includes two different bundles. Let me skip ahead here to show you. Both of them are kind of uh, Valentine-y. I just love, love, love these flowers. And the classic black and white and pink foil. So I've got some close-ups to show you. This is going to be included in the product share. The True Love designer paper. This is a 12 by 12 designer paper. I've just cut it down to make it easier to see. And this is the size that will be included in your product share. So this is a black and white paper. Oops, that one goes with the next. Uh, black and white paper, black and white on both sides. We've got flower designs and then stripes, polka dots, geometric patterns. And this is a fun paper, whether you want to just do a black and white card like this one by Tammy Ackerson, or if you want to color it like this one by Natalie Travis, she just colored the, um, the designer paper and cut it apart. So that's a really fun way to pop that black and white and add some texture and color. This is a new oval punch. The oval punch has both a flat and a scallop oval. I'm trying to pull it so you can see. Uh, both punches right there. So I love, love, love this for layering. I'm a punch girl, you guys know that. <laughs> um, this I think might be a new punch as well. The new little banner punch. Here's another sample. This one is by Janice Waitman. And she used the blending brush to um, sponge some color around there. And this is a little heart charm and the Rococo Rose metallic ribbon. Both of which are included in this suite. So they're in, let me see, I can get a little close up here. So, oops, you get a yard of each ribbon, including this one. This is really pretty because it's like, um, 
like shiny on one side and then this like gold metallic on the other it's so so gorgeous so that one is called blushing bride 3 8 inch metallic ribbon and then the other embellishment that comes in this suite is the metallic dots the, they're matte metallic dots and they come in two sizes let's see they're on this card here you can see them in action they are kind of bumpy so they're not flat even though they're matte um, that just means they're not shiny uh, so the other part of this suite the other designer paper we have is this really awesome foil paper so we've got um, love you always specialty designer paper and then it coordinates with the always in my heart oh no I'm sorry the love you always foil sheets so one package is the designer paper, I had them all separated. One package is the designer paper and then one is the foil and you can see how lovely they coordinate together. We've got Rococo Rose, Petal Pink and Sahara Sand, is that right? Um, Blushing Bride, Rococo Rose, not Petal Pink, sorry. Blushing Bride, Rococo Rose and then the Sahara Sand so 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 gorgeous so those are available separately but you'll get them all in the product share as well let's take a look at some more card samples this one is by lee lee lung um, and she is using the black and white paper here and then the foil over here this new stamp set has a punch it's so cool let me move these out of the way and flip over two more pages. Here we go, hearts and kisses. So we've got this awesome uh, Galentine, Valentine set and it has a kiss punch. So the punch has a kiss and a little heart. So it punches out the kiss and then here's a card that I made with the heart and we've got some of that Love You Always paper back there. I incorporated some of the champagne rhinestones. Sorry, I'm not not centered very well here. Um, so there's that card. This is Blushing Bride. Here's another card. This one's by Kelly Atchison, and she used all three of those um, designer papers. And then again, that's the heart and the lips that she punched out. Here's one by Sandy Carlson, and um, she, look at that, she cased the catalog right there with the layout. So she's got a little bit of that Rococo ribbon, the foil back here, and the kisses with one punched out. I love when they do these step it up. So you can see how you can go really simple, or you can add a little bit, or you can really go all out and dress up your card so much. Here is a card that I made, and actually let me see if I can jump forward to show you my inspiration for this card, because I cased the catalog on this one too, but I cased from a different stamp set let me see if I can find it it's the peekaboo or the pull toy oh my goodness I should just look it up in the index <laughs> I love that we have an index and I'm so excited I get to share the inside pages of the catalog with you now all right baby pull toy is on page 64 so let's see you can see how I was inspired by that layout here it is. So I loved this sort of banner with the square. I changed mine up just a little bit and added a layer. And then I, I still did the little hearts like I did. So here's another one that's like, uh, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I feel like I just need to raise my, sorry, oh, golly. <laughs> I'm going to raise the, um, raise the camera a little bit because I feel like so much is getting cut off. That is better. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, okay, so you can see we've got the, the step it up. So the simple stepped up and a little bit more. And so I just switched stamp sets and did a little something different. So I'm always excited when there's a new catalog because not only is there all this new stuff, but there's so many new samples to case and copy. And I'm always finding inspiration from the catalog. Love, 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 love. Okay, I'm going to try I'm trying to not be too messy. Let's keep let's keep chugging along and see what is next in the catalog. So we we did that one. Here's a fun heart set. Lots of options for Valentine's Day this year, including this one. These are little memories and more cards. So if you want to do cute little Valentines for um, your class or your grandkids or friends to send in the mail, these are three by four cards. So they're a little small to mail on their own. You'll have to tuck them in a bigger envelope but they do come with printed envelopes. So if you're handing out in person, this is a good size or a little gift enclosure to, um, to send in the mail if you're sending boxes of candy to your friends and family who are afar. Oh my gosh, I love this cute kangaroo. But this Hydrangea Hill is totally amazing. 
<laughs> if you love purple, this paper is for you. I love the colors here. We've got Seaside Spray, Purple Posy, Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape. So there are two things here. One of them is the Hydrangea um, Hill Designer Paper. So this is a 12 by 12 paper. And again, I've just cut it down so that you can see. Um, and this is the size that comes in the product share. So we've got some great like flower images and then some closer up petal images. These are double sided. So the other side, we've got some more fantastic flower images. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Amazing, so beautiful. And then this is the Mercury Acetate, Hydrangea Hill Mercury Acetate designer paper. So it's like a window sheet, you can see through it, but it has those, um, like those those spots and those holes. So we've got two colors here. I believe they are Rococo Rose and Highland Heather. Um, so fun. And then the accessories here, we have some um, sheer ribbon. So this is Gorgeous Grape Sheer Ribbon. And then the, oh, the pearls. So you'll get some of the pearls in the product share. You'll get some of each color. So we've got um, the dark purple, light purple, the light pink. And then this is, I don't think it's showing well on the camera. It's a light blue, like a seaside spray. Okay, let's take a look at some samples. This one is from my friend Meg Loven. She used the painted texture um, embossing folder back here and a little bit of that love you always. Um, she had a similar card that she sent out. This is actually a calendar and she used a bit of the acetate there and some more of the designer paper. So um, love how you can just change up the colors and change up the paper and create something a little different and unique. Here's one that I made for a swap. I used that oval punch again. I used the um, the solid and the scalp, little designer paper. My colors here are Sahara Sand, Seaside Spray, and I think this one's actually Old Olive instead of Pear Pizzazz. Here's a card by Kim Kane. She's used the acetate again in the designer paper. Love how she incorporated the pearls and the ribbon to embellish. Gorgeous card from Tori Stoll. She used the, um, the pearls again, and there is that beautiful oval punch. So many different ways that you can use it. This card's by Kim Peck. My upline, she used some designer paper and then the dies. So there's some dies that die cut the hydrangea image and then like a whole border of little flowers and some other um, dies for the images as well. So fun. Okay, those are all the Hydrangea Hill samples that I have. I haven't had a chance to play with it more, but I'm so inspired by the projects here in the catalog. And just like always, the stamp set and the dies are available separately, or you can buy them together and save 10%. So all the bundles in the catalog, you save 10% by buying them together. Um, that's 10, like just 10% overall. So whatever the stamps and dies are, and then 10% off that. And that's the price that's shown in the catalog. So for this one, uh, the, the bundle price is 52, and that already includes the 10% discount. This is one that really caught my eye, Wrapped Bouquet, and I was so excited to get Rachel Chamberlain's swap card with it because I'm so intrigued by this. I love um, this this sort of idea of the newsprint wrapped around the flowers. And let me get a close up of the catalog because the, there's a die in here that you can actually like die cut or wrap to go around the flowers like they did here. So um, I, I believe it's these flowers. So they stamped that and then they stamped the newsprint on um, crumb cake cardstock and then did that little wrap. And I just think that's so, so unique and so different. And sometimes I feel like how many flowers can we actually have, right? But I, I think that they really come up with fun and innovative dyes. So I'm excited about some of these new flowers and I'm pacing myself. I haven't bought them all yet. <laughs> Here's a fun um, Easter stamp set called Springtime Joy. And I got two card samples from demonstrators. Um, cousin or, uh, yeah, I guess cousin demonstrators. Rayanne Littrell created this one with the lamb. Love that. There's that painted texture embossing folder. Again, that one's new. And Betsy Kreider made this one with a cute little chick. You do you so well. I gotta show the inside of this because Betsy always does the inside of her cards. You're one in a million. Isn't that cute? 
I love that little chick. And honestly, I got her cart and I didn't even recognize it because I had just sort of overlooked that stamp set. But it is super, super cute for spring and Easter. All right, next up we have the curvy, quite curvy bundle. And this one was available in um, December and November early. So you may even already have this one. I just wanted to share some samples using this bundle so you could see all the versatility. It has coordinating dies that create the fun. Um, this one die cuts the leaves and they also also have fun um, like border dies so you can create the inside so here's some cards that I made the colors here are old olive calypso coral and um, Sahara sand and then here's one with the flowers and this one same color combination I cased right from the catalog See, I told you guys, I just love, <laughs> I love to copy from the catalog. There's so many fun ideas. So I just changed up the colors, uh, but everything else is kind of the same. I, I didn't have the hydrangea paper when I made this card. Um, so I, I changed it up, but I love how the little birdie pops and I love the Calypso coral words. I'm still struggling with this camera angle. I'm so sorry that they're coming out of the, out of the screen. Here's a swap from Angie Leach. And she's used both little birds and that fun little border die. And then we've got some more. Oh, my gosh. I lost this one for a while. Deb Schneider made this card. And um, it got tucked in with some other mail. And I misplaced it for like a whole month. And I was so sad because how simple and gorgeous is this card? This is such a Julie card with this simplicity. I love her beautiful soft coloring with the Sahara sand and petal pink and the little pop-up with the nested label die. Such a gorgeous card from Deb. I'm so happy I found it again. This one is by BJ Peters and more of a fall card here. I love how she's got the transition of the colors. It just totally screams fall to me. Thinking of you makes my day. So even though so this is in the spring catalog there is absolutely potential for these um, stamps to be used year-round here's another one that I made I used the heart punch and little border here made with love just for you so this would be good for Valentine's Day love that one all right let's move on oh our next suite is the dandy garden this is one you guys may have been seeing a lot of it because we were able to pre-order it before on stage in November so a lot of demonstrators have been using this and i've shared some samples as well like this um, framed art that i made this is a five by seven frame and i did two inch squares of the designer paper this is stamped and then the pretty simple with the embellishments i stamped and punched the dragonfly and then just did two of the little dragonflies that are part of that punch little ladybug trinket oh my gosh is that not the cutest let's see uh let's have a close-up look at the designer paper now this one is a six by six paper pack so you're going to get 12 different sheets um really some busy prints in here with the dragonflies and the um the dandelions but uh, really fun to cut apart like i did um and use in small pieces like this then it's not so overwhelming okay so this one again double-sided you're gonna get all 12 of these patterns in your product share so you'll be able to try out this paper and all the others and decide which you like and then you can order more of those some of these dragonflies i think right here and this sheet will punch out with the punch so that is really fun I love it when they do that let's take a look oh we also have uh, and this is included as well in the product share the dandy garden memories and more cards and envelopes how cute are these envelopes like for real <laughs> I love that we have a little design in the frame here and then the card itself is just a solid um a solid print on the front so you can um, decorate that as much or as little as you want so all of that comes in the product share as well as we have this braided linen twine what is it called braided linen trim um, mossy meadow and then the oh my gosh those cute little ladybugs are the um the embellishments so you'll get a few of those in your in your product share baggie Aren't those just adorable? And on the back side, they're they're almost flat. Not quite. There's like a little divot there, but they're not really a very bulky embellishment. So, um, like you could mail it, but you're gonna need to have some cushion in there, a non-machinable stamp, I think. Um, 
All right, I've got tons of samples with this one because I was creating a lot with it after on stage. So here's a card that I made. This was kind of based on an on stage make and take. The colors here are Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee. This one is from Kay Kaltoff and she used the dandelion embossing folder. Can you see that? Maybe I should take it out of the wrapper so you can have a better look without the reflection. So this embossing folder is in the annual catalog. It's not new, but the dragonfly punch um, and, the, and the word stamp is new. Then we've got this one from Ruth Bingle. This is the um, Old World Paper embossing folder from the annual catalog. Really fun texture on that one. Love this layout with three strips of designer paper that are one inch by four inch and then the stamped and punched dragonfly as well. Misty Moonlight, such a pretty card. Here's another one that was inspired from on stage. We've got the strips of designer paper and then um, I just love that pop. Uh, pop of green and yellow. So Mossy Meadow, Bumblebee, same layout here, um, just slightly different, um, slightly different colors. And I used some designer paper and added the, the circle and the stamped flowers back there. I feel like the the lighting is sometimes hard to see with that reflection. I'm sorry. Uh, these last three cards are the second bundle in um, in this. So the, this is another jumbo bundle or bu jumbo suite. Cause you know, you can buy everything in the suite, like everything on the page with one item number. And that's down here. The suite collection will include everything on the, the page next to it. So some of the suites are bigger than others. This is a jumbo suite that includes two different bundles. So we've got the dandelion or garden wishes bundle. This one is a dye bundle. And then the dragonfly or dragonfly garden, um, bundle is a punch bundle so that one comes with a punch so the first samples I showed you were with this stamp set and then these three are using the garden wishes so this one is by BJ Peters and I love how she's incorporated the designer paper I feel like it really makes the the focal element pop another really busy paper but used just the right amount here from Ramona Simpson and similar layout here this last card is from Mary McCormick Oh my gosh, what do you think? I, I don't know about the dandelions. I didn't get the Garden Wishes stamp set yet, but I am loving, loving that dragonfly punch. That's, that's just, I think my, um, my love for punches. <laughs> I always tend to, to uh, go for those, those punch bundles because they're just so easy to use. I want to pause here and point out the Happy Thoughts stamp set. I didn't pre-order this one. I really should have. It's coming tomorrow because um, I did order it late. But um, I love the versatility of this. I always love a good greeting stamp set. And so this one's got Happy Birthday, Thinking of You, Congratulations, Thank You. So it covers a lot of bases. If you're looking for a new greeting set, these are fabulous sizes too that fit many of our popular punches. So this is the stamp set. If you sign up for my product share, then you can also get this stamp set at a discount. So normally with tax and shipping, it works out to be $25. Um, and for the next two weeks, if you sign up for the product share, you can save $10 on this stamp set and add it onto your product share for only 15. So many of you did when you signed up for your product share. And let me just show you that link again. If you have not already reserved your product share, you can do that at tinyurl.com slash JJ for January, June product share. Um, so sign up for that product share. You'll get a little bit of everything, all the designer paper that I'm showing you, the ribbon, the embellishments, and then you will just be able to try things out and, and make some cards and see what you think. Well, I'm telling you, I have to, I have to skip ahead because I didn't, I didn't get to pre-order this one either, but the host set right now is called Sweet Sampler and it includes stamped images that coordinate with several of the sweets. So we've got the dragonfly and the shells and the ribbon and the hydrangeas. So I, when I placed the order today for all this stuff for the product share, I ordered um, some of the host sets. I use the host rewards for this stamp set. And so one in every five product share packages will randomly include this stamp set. So you might get lucky. It's a little mystery host product share thing going on and it's such a fun one because then you'll have stamps to go with all of the paper that you're getting oh so here's the card this one uses uh this one's by leanne graf and she used that thinking of you stamp from 
that happy thoughts stamp set. Uh, this is fun. In fact, I didn't even notice this until I got some swap cards with it. The Wild Roses background stamp is like a full, you can see it back here. It's a rubber full size background stamp that fills a card. And I got two beautiful swap cards using this stamp set or stamp. This one's by Barb Mulliken and she stamped in Blackberry Bliss and then did some of the gold leafing on there. So gorgeous. And this one by Linda Bowen. She uh, gold embossed the background and then did some blending with the new blending brush. Thinking of you, that's also from that um, happy happy thoughts stamp set. So I was so excited to get those because I totally overlooked this wild roses stamp in here. Now, one of my favorite new bundles that I'm super excited to get, it's called Pretty Perennials. And I love it because it's bold and bright and easy to stamp. So I ordered this, but I haven't had a chance to stamp anything yet with it. But I do have two samples. This first one is by Dina Recow, and she's the one who helped design this awesome stamp set when she hit her million dollar milestone. So I was so excited to get Dina's card. I love the colors that she chose here. Coastal Cabana, Mingo, Granny Apple Green, like just such a fun and happy card. And I will think of Dina every time I use this one. Here's another swap card. This one's by Jennifer Cotton. A little more subdued here. We've got this designer paper in the background that's from Celebration and Rococo Rose and um, Night of Navy. That's a great color combination too. So perfect for winter. All right. Oh, next up is Fine Art Floral. You know, I always talk about the cover girls of the catalogs and Fine Art Floral is the cover girl of the January through June mini catalog. This is such a fun um, suite because it's another one where the artist actually painted canvas um, to create this beautiful artwork and then they photographed it and made it into paper. So I feel like this paper is truly a work of art. It was hand painted uh, by a concept artist, um, a product specialist at Stampin' Up! and then they created um, this gorgeousness. So sometimes Sarah Douglas, uh, the CEO of Stampin' Up! sometimes she does a Facebook Live and she'll show like the original painting that was created to create paper like this. So the colors here are just so bright and beautiful. This is a 12 by 12 um, designer paper. I've just cut it again for your product share, six by six, and it's double sided. So on the one side, you have all the busy, like the painted flowers. And then on the other side, you have some beautiful brush stroke. I always call them B patterns, but a little more neutral, nice for um, accents or, or building your card. This one just jumps out at me, so I'm going to pull it out really quick. So here is uh, a card by Margo Richardson, and she used um, that designer paper on the back there. And then I think she actually ran it through the embossing folder as well with a textured paint um, embossing folder, which is part of this suite. So I've been showing you several samples of the texture, painted texture embossing folder. Here's another one where you can see a little bit better that painted texture um, embossing folder. Here's a card that I made. Um, and that emboss, that is just so, um, it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. So here I've also used the acetate, which is part of this suite as well. Um, the acetate comes with three different patterns. Um, and let's see if I can turn it around so you can see a little bit better. So pretty. This one is more like a medallion. And then this one coordinates with one of the designer paper patterns. Let me see if I've got it cut right so that you can see. I think it's this one, but I don't know that it lines, this one lines up. But um, it is made to line up if you cut it correctly with the designer paper. So you get kind of an overlay. So I did make a sample here um, and you can kind of see the paper in the background and then the acetate over the top. So just wanted to say congratulations such a fun card. The gorgeous ribbon in this um, in this set is this fine art floral ribbon, and it's uh, it's really soft. It's like a, a linen with gold thread in it. The other side is kind of the same there. Beautiful ribbon. 
fine art floral and then um, we have the gold leafing which I haven't played with I ordered it um, but it's really fun with the heat and stick powder so we're definitely gonna um, definitely gonna do something with that soon here's a swap card I got from Mary McNeely and she used the gold leafing around the flower it just really like steps up and makes your cards so beautiful and elegant here's some more card samples swaps this one's from Bal uh, bonnie allers o'neill i just love the colors pretty peacock um terracotta tile it looks like she used and um, petal pink just so gorgeous this one's by gwen duckworth oh and i think this is an easel card let me open that up and show you um so this one has like folds in the middle and then um, if you want to rest it up. So the, the important thing with the easel card is it's on Stampin' Dimensionals, the inside piece. And then um, if that props up the card. So such a beautiful card from Gwen. So excited to get that in a swap. And then here's two more that I made. Um, Oh my gosh, these colors, these colors. Rich Razzleberry, Rococo Rose, Old Olive, Pretty Peacock. Oh, I'm seeing all your hearts. Yay! <laughs> oh, I, I love this one too. I think way more than I thought I would. Because again, I feel like I have enough flowers. I don't need any more flowers. But um, I just think it's so beautiful. It is truly just such a work of art. So um, this is a fun one. And again, you'll get to sample all those things, the ribbon, um, you don't get a sample of the gold leafing, but you get the acetate and the designer paper in the product share. All right, next up, there's the close-up of that stamp set. Lots of great greetings in this one too. But sometimes we don't, we have stamps without sentiments, and so it's it's good to have um, both images and some good sentiments in there as well. Now this next bundle, this is many mirroring messages, and I didn't get this one, but it's really cool. This is a this is one stamp. It's like a big background, and then let me see if I can get a close-up on it. Then there's a die that die cuts the entire thing at once. So you stamp all the words and then you can die cut all the words and you get all these little tags that you can use on the cards. So I haven't, I haven't gotten this bundle yet, but I did get this swap from um, Faith Steinberg. And so as you can see, she stamped it on the background and then she, um, she die cut a set and put that, that sentiment over the top. So what a, what a fun way. I love this pop of pink with the magenta madness. Um, so I'm still, I'm still thinking about this one. I love the idea of die cutting and stamping a bunch of greetings at once and then being able to have them in like in a little container and mix and match and use them as you need them. Uh, a couple more stamp sets. I, there's so many in the catalog that like I couldn't possibly have, I couldn't possibly have gotten them all, but I love that we have something for everybody. So whether it's your cup of tea or somebody else's, there's always just so many amazing things. Here's one. I thought this was really fun and interesting. The Circle Celebration. And I was excited to get this swap from Natalie Travis. She used some on the background and then uh, for the circle here. So this is going to coordinate with the um, layering circle dies or some of the circle punches. We have another example of the stepped, step it up. So a little simple, step it up, step it up some more, different ways that you can use that. And I'm inspired by these layouts, even though I don't have the stamp set, like I love the layering of the circle. So definitely flagging this one to case. All right, next up we have, ooh, the Simply Succulents. So this is one I shared, uh, I shared this card yesterday, I think it was. I submitted this one for Kylie Bertucci's International Highlights Gallery. So would love your vote if you would vote for my card. Um, I used a little bit of the fine art floral designer paper. So it was the, like the B side of one of those. Um, and then the uh, embossing folder as well. I don't normally love to color, but I did do some coloring on this succulent card and little die cut tag. So this, um, this bundle set has this really amazing detailed die. So I used that on the background for this monochromatic card, pear pizzazz and seaside foam or soft sea foam, sorry. <laughs> um, and then I didn't have to color the succulents here. This die cut, the label is in that set as well. Really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful set. Here's one I want to say, there's not a name on it, but I think it was Debbie's card. Debbie Garthwaite, I think made this card for our team swap. Excited to play with that one some more. What do you guys think of the succulents? Do you like that? Let's move on. Oh, Sand and Sea is next. And this one just sings to me because I just love 
the water. Like if I could live on a lake or even near an ocean, I would be such a happy girl. This designer paper is 12 by 12. I love the colors. Seaside spray, blushing bride, so saffron, um, and Sahara sand. So we've got some shells. We've got some like, um, I don't know what to call these. They're kind of like I guess they're painted, but they're sort of almost look like sand. They're very textury. Um, and then the other side, we've got some, some awesome patterns as well. So this is really soft, really beautiful. Um, and then in addition to that, we have this specialty paper. It's pearlescent. I'm not sure how well that show. Oh, there we go. I think we get a good, um, <laughs> could glean in the in the camera this comes 12 by 12 and you get two sheets per package really really gorgeous um and then the the uh, uh, uh embellishments here are the opal rounds and um oh there's no ribbon that's interesting no ribbon in this one uh, we do have some sea sea side shells stickers I'm going to show you a couple of cards that I made with them. They're not included in the product share, but this card is included in the December bonus project kit. So if you ordered from me in December, you're going to get um, to try out the stickers and you'll get the materials to make this card. So that's always something I do for my customers. When you order $40 or more in my online store, um, then you'll get my bonus project kit. So if you would like to get the bonus project kit for um, January, you can order in my online store. Use the host code. Um, if you order between $40 and $150. Here's another card where I used those little stickers. I popped them up on Stampin' Dimensionals. Really just simple card layout, but I love how that just sings and it just lets those colors shine and pop. Let's take a look because I've got a ton more cards using this stuff. I recently showed in a video, I did um, these cards, the basic quick fun folds. And so we did the gate fold and the Z fold and then some simple layering. And I showed you how the stamps and the dies and embossing folder work together to create this amazing dynamic image. So you die cut it and you stamp it and then you emboss it or you can do all those things separately. And then those images are cut from the designer paper. Oh my gosh, these colors are just amazing. This one is by Margaret Van Vallee, and um, she's got some, uh, this is a sticker that's cut from the designer paper, embossing folder in the background. Here's another one that I did recently on a, a Thursday night live, um, and then I've got the opal round. It's so pretty, it's like glitter in there. Uh, here's another one. This is actually cased from the catalog. This one is by Faye Colwell, and you can see her inspiration right there in the catalog. And honestly, I was kind of inspired by that as well when I made my version, which is just a little bit different. But you can see the inspiration there. Oh, love that layout. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Here's a card by Anna Masternak. I love the um, the bold blue. It makes these really pop. So soft sea foam, uh, petal pink, Sahara sand, misty moonlight in the background, and then the designer paper peeking out there. And then fine art floral ribbon. Like this card just sings to me. So gorgeous. Here's one by Gloria Pollock. Love the soft blending and brushing that she did on the embossed background. So it's embossed in white and then she added the color. So soft and gorgeous. This one's by Carol Sticky. Carol, I think you're watching right now. And she used that um, pearlescent paper. So on this card, you really can see um, how that shines. So like you don't even need to add any color. That is just so gorgeous popping against um, the background of the Seaside Spray Blushing Bride and So Saffron. Such a beautiful card. I mixed them up, but I think I went through all of them. I just love, this is probably my favorite suite in the new catalog. I just think it's so, so pretty. And I know it's not a very winter <laughs> suite. Maybe that's why I love it so much because I'm ready. I'm ready for some sunshine. Okay, let's move on. Um, here you can see it's really quite a big stamp set. Um, and then it has the die that coordinate in the, that embossing folder up there. All right, flamingos next. So fun. I didn't get that one. Oh, the strawberry, the sweet strawberry. So um, I didn't, I didn't um, cut the paper for you to see, but 
um, let me show you really quick. In the celebration book, we have a, um, a strawberry, a berry blessings designer paper. So this is for celebration. So when you spend $100, you can choose this level two gift, which includes the 12 by 12 designer paper and the berry blessings stamp set, which coordinates with the sweet strawberry stamp set. So there are, the images are all different. They're not the same at all. We've got the strawberry over here and the blossoms. And then here we've got blueberry and like a raspberry, but the designer paper does include strawberries and strawberry imagery. So some of these swap cards use that as well. This is a punch bundle as well. So we've got the strawberry builder punch that has the strawberry, the blossom, the stem, and the leaf. This card is by my mama, Susan LaCroix, and I love the whimsy border. And I have to point this out because I think this is my only card that has it. Uh, the whimsy dies are like tucked in here at the very end of the catalog. And they're so easy to overlook because they are not part of a bundle. So you're going to find it on page 72, stitched with whimsy dies. So there are um, six dies in different sizes. And I looks like mom used the second, um, the second largest die, and then she has stamped and colored um, and punched out those strawberries and then some of that designer paper in the background. Oh my gosh, this just screams summer. Can you, can you see this border? Is that not just the fun, 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 funnest border? So it doesn't die cut like the cardstock, it just adds stitching onto your cardstock. So you'll just cut, you know, a rectangle. I saw a card, maybe it wasn't in the catalog, um, where they use the small one. And so it wasn't, it wasn't like a separate square, but it was just like a stitched square, like on the, on the larger piece of cardstock. And that looked really awesome too. Okay. Let's get back to our strawberries. I'm so ready for, <laughs> so ready for summer with these strawberry cards. This one's by Carla Endress. So all this designer paper is from that Berry, Berry Blastings um, celebration pack. Here's a card that I made. Uh, we did mystery stamping at our team meeting last month. And so I used two different pieces here and that, love that punch. Just so easy to make that butter, butterfly strawberry. <laughs> Monica Davis made this card. Uh, great layering here. And again, the stem and the flower are included in that punch as well. This one is by Denise Jorgensen. I love these softer colors for the strawberry. So We've got that Love You Always paper and then Rococo Rose and Sahara Sand. Like it's a it's a definite contrast from the bright, but I think it's really uh really soft and pretty and a nice a nice take on a different color scheme there. Uh then we've got this one by Amy Story and she's used the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder from the annual catalog. So pretty. Oh my gosh, do you guys like this strawberry? I haven't, I haven't had a chance to stamp as much as I'd like, but I'm definitely, definitely getting this one out and using it some more. All right, I don't have any samples and I don't have this bundle yet in bloom, but I do want to point out that the stamps and the dies for the in bloom set coordinate with this paper blooms designer paper from the, um, from the celebration brochure. So some of these outline dies will cut out um, flowers from the paper. So I should have ordered this one. Why didn't I order this one? <laughs> I'm going to have to add it onto my next order. I like the sentiments and I like the style as well, but I just wanted you to know that this in bloom bundle, page 45 coordinates with the paper blooms designer paper in case you want to get, uh, get both of those together and do some, do some fun things. Okay. Next up, <laughs> shark frenzy. Do you guys know that song? Baby shark, do, 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 baby shark, do, 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 do. That, that is the inspiration for this fun stamp set. Uh, not something that I love and enjoy, but I was happy to get some card swaps using the sharks <laughs> so I can have some samples. So you've got all the accessories to make uh, daddy shark and mommy shark and grandma shark and grandpa shark. These cards are by Karen Titus. She used some of the whale designer paper back here. And then this one one is by Robin Cardin and she used the painted texture embossing folder on the silver cardstock. Such a bright and fun card to send to all of your favorite sharks. Marcia says don't even. <laughs> 
Here's another fun one, especially for kids. Oh, snap. It has a little crocodile and a frog and the fishies and the bird. Now, this, uh, I didn't get this one. There's not coordinating dies, um, but I think a fun one to send some thinking of you cards to all your favorite kids of all ages. Here's another really fun one, again, for kids of all ages. Ice Cream Corner Suite. This one has really fun, bright designer paper. This is 12 by 12 paper. I've cut it down to 6 by 6 for the product share. But we've got these really fun watercolor images of the popsicles and the ice cream cones. And then the B-sides are really bright, bold, and fun patterns so that you could create cards for celebrating all kinds of occasions. Now, this stamp set in bundle is a punch bundle. So the punch bundle has both the ice cream scoop and the ice cream cone. So one thing that's fun about that with this paper is that you can punch out your cones with the designer paper and make some really quick and easy cards. So I have a ton of samples using this gorgeous paper and this bundle. Um, the sprinkles are not included in the um, product share just because they're kind of hard to... Um, Kind of hard to send and divvy up. And then the other thing is the um, uh, Blackberry Bliss. Can you see the stripes on there? It's a striped, sheer striped ribbon. Um, and so that's included. You get all those ribbons in the product share. Um, so let's take a look at, uh, at the cards. I really do have quite a few. Um, here we go. Let's get them all out. Okay. So... This one is by Gwen Duckworth, and this, I think it's a little pocket. Uh, nope, not a pocket. So what, this is kind of fun, what she did is she cut this part off and then turned it and made um, made the front of the card here. Painted texture in the background. Are you guys noticing a trend? I feel like that embossing folder has mixed and matched with like every stamp set <laughs> in the mini catalog. Everyone is using it for everything. It's such a good one. Here's one by Kay Cogbill. And you can see she's got some of the sprinkles here with the designer paper. Love this one from Mary Ellen Stites. Uh, just love the, the layering and it really pops with that little watercolor background. You are so cool. She's got the sprinkles on her card as well. This one is by Kathy Gruby. I love how she put the sprinkles on the top of the ice cream cone. Such bright, fun colors. Oh, and I love this one. Here's the designer paper that she punched. And then we have a little bit of the... Um, Little bit of the busy pattern in the background. This one's by Michelle Grimble. Such a gorgeous card, Michelle. Here's one by Amy Nicely. A great texture. This one's from the annual catalog, the tasteful texture embossing folder. And again, that ice cream cone punched out perfectly. Here's one by Jenny Miller. And she told me she scored all of those lines. Probably using the Simply Scored, but I love the effect of that, how it looks like an ice cream cone in the background. So what a what a fun way to add texture to your card. Here's another one by Sherry Muzzy. Uh, and again, we've got those sprinkles all over the top of the ice cream cone and on the sentiment. This beautiful card, oh, it doesn't have a name on it. This just came in my advisory board swaps, and I don't think that there was a name on this one at all. So I, I wish I could give credit. I'm so sorry that I can't on that that card. Here's one by Jill Olson, and I'm pretty sure that she stamped these in the background. They look like designer paper, but she stamped all that, um, and there's sort of some different different pieces to that, like uh, that popsicle at ice cream treat. Treat yourself. Here's one by Laura Bardo, and she used some of the black and white paper from the start of the catalog, the mini, or Love You Always um, suite. So love the black and white, and then the pink just pops with that. Love those colors together. Um, here is another one. This one is by Deb Schneider. Uh, great little tag here with the... Um, the pink, oh, that's coming up in the, the snail mail suite. And then uh, just the stack of ice cream cones. Every flavor you could possibly want. Love this thinking out of the box, Celine Kempton. She turned that um, ice cream scoop upside down and made a bear in a party hat. Isn't that clever? I'm pretty sure that Celine just colored or drew on um, the bear. 
Um, I'm looking to see if any of the stamps kind of coordinate. I, she might have used some shape stamps in there, but it looks like she just drew the bear's face. I just think that's so clever. What a great way to use that ice cream cone in a different way. Last card here. Um, this one looks like it's a fun fold. Let's open it up. This one's by Angie Leach. Oh, yeah. We did this one recently with the little uh, pop-up pocket card. So if you if you didn't see that video, leave a comment and I'll link to it so you can see. Pop-up pocket card. What a fun way to send a little gift card for a birthday or just a thinking of you summer treat. Go get yourself some ice cream. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, my gosh. We still have more cards. <laughs> Oh, I have so many awesome cards to share with you. This next one is another Million Dollar Achiever stamp set. Hey, Girlfriend was inspired um, by April Lopez. And so I was excited to get to swap with April. So she made this envelope shaker card. And you've got the little sprinkles in here, the ice cream sprinkles. And she colored that with some Stampin' Blends. Love that. So much fun. Hey, Girlfriend. Not my style. Um, and so it's not one that I'll get, but I I love her sample. It's so cute. And I think my daughters would really, they would really like that. I might have to think about it. <laughs> Prettiest birthdays, another fun birthday set. Great for coloring. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you guys remember in 2017, we had a celebration stamp set called Hey Chick. And it was so popular that Stamp It Up is bringing it back. They have a sequel in Hey Birthday Chick, which has the same chickens in some different poses. And starting in February, you'll be able to get coordinating dies with the Hey Birthday Chick. And you'll be able to get the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set from that celebration a couple years ago with coordinating dies as well. So watch for more details about that. I'm pre-ordering mine today. And if you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order as well in January and it will be available for everyone next month. But you can, you can get the stamp set right now. The Hey Birthday Chick, it's in, um, in the mini catalog on page 52. But if you want to wait, uh, for the dies and get the bundle, then February is when that's going to be available. Another fun, cute little critters. I love the idea of building the tree and having a card that comes out. This one's on my radar, but not one that I've bought yet. One that I did just get is coming tomorrow in my order is the snail mail. So <laughs> I love this cute little snail. It reminds me of that um turbo movie. Did you guys ever see that with the snail that it's like special powers and moves really fast. This is fun paper. I feel like this would be a good one for Valentine's, even though it's not Valentine specific, but we've got just some hearts and fun pink and red colors here. So we've got this paper. This is a 12 by 12 paper, which I've cut down and I'm pretty sure, oh, there's not, this one doesn't have a die, but like this one cuts out with the die and uh, this one does as well. So we have the dies that coordinate with the designer paper and then the other side as well that are a little bit more neutral in their patterns. Such a great color palette. Real Red, Blushing Bride, Daffodil Delight, uh, Basic Gray, Bermuda Bay. Um, and so this one we've got hearts. Maybe that's why I'm thinking Valentine's Day. Resin heart embellishments, which are like little enamel dots. And then we have the combo pack of... Doing it, oh, doing a quick grab out of my basket. A combo pack of the white and pink uh, Baker's Twine. I'm so excited to have the white Baker's Twine back because it's my favorite. <laughs> um, okay, I've got two cards using the Snail Dit um, bundle. This first one is by Don Olszewski, and I am obsessed with this card layout. I love the strips of designer paper at an angle and the hearts up here. It is amazing. This coordinates with the um, rectangular postage punch. And then there are some other stamps or dies that cut. I think there's an, like a square postage shape as well. Um, and no, I don't think that's this one. Oops, did I miss? Oh, that I thought that there was a... Um, a page that showed the stamp images, but I guess this is it. So there are a couple snails in there and a toadstool. Here's a card. This one's by Meg Lovin. Um, and she's using, um, why don't I recognize that paper? It has gold in it. 
that's not part of this paper. <gasps> hmm. Oh, I think I know what that is. I think that that is um, those Valentine cards that we briefly looked over at the front. Doot, 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 doot. Yes, 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 yes. That's what that is. Okay, let's hold our page here with our dots. Um, so these little cards, it looks like what Meg did is she just cut them um, in half. So there you can see the stripes. So that's kind of a fun little peek at those cards. I didn't realize that it had that gold foil in there. That's super, super cute. You snailed it. So that would be that would be cute for her for Valentine's. Love the little envelopes. You've got mail. So this is going to be a fun one, whether you're sending Valentine's or just happy mail. Uh, the snail mail, I think, is cute and whimsical and perfect for kids of all ages. Happy mail enclosed. All right, let's move on. Um, this one is good. If you are making and selling your cards using Stampin' Up! products, then you'll need to include the copyright Stampin' Up! on the back of your card. It's part of our angel policy. And this stamp set, Handmade for You, includes that stamp. So this is a good one if you're needing the copyright um, Stampin' Up! Um, then there's two different images in here, handmade for you. And this is good if you are doing other things, right? Um, stitch with love. So if you're a crafter, a stitcher, a quilter, and um, you like to make tags for the things that you're making, this is a really fun one. Crafter is gonna craft. I love it. Hashtag made it. Um, <laughs> I just ordered this one today too. I'm super excited. It's called Window Flower Box, Welcoming Window. And I am just a sucker for this like um, watercolor style of the images. So I don't have any, um, I don't have any cards to show you with this one, but um, I, I think it's really fun to build that window scene. So watch for it because I did get it. So I'm sure I'll be crafting with it and sharing projects very soon. Uh, this stamp set, Enjoy the Moment, was one that we got at on stage. Um, it was the freebie that came in our bag. Kind of a fun um, nature, a sketchy nature sketch kind of a set. I haven't played with mine, but I was happy to get this card from Genevieve Cole. Uh, next up, we've got, I uh, don't have any to share with that. This one's fun, fluttering, floating and fluttering. It's a butterfly set. And so this grouping of butterflies die cuts as one piece. And then it has this nice big label set as well. This card is from Teresa Tucker and she used the blending brushes to get the variation in the colors here. Coastal Cabana, um, looks like some gorgeous grape, uh, melon mambo, some of those bright colors. And then this ombre paper is from the Celebration Pack. Such a pretty card there. Here's one by um, Susan Campfield. And she used that Love You Always specialty paper. And then die cut the, um, the butterfly on its own. So pretty. I'm thinking about this one. I do love the way those butterflies just pop. Here's another one that's on my list. And um, I kind of overlooked it, I think, at first. Because it just didn't... It didn't sing to me, but the more I look at it, these dies are so amazing with the detailed, um, the detailed vine. So like this is a whole card, uh, card back like that. And then we've got circle and an oval and the sentiments are really useful. So some of these fit into the label. We've got sympathy, thinking of you, congratulations, thank you, happy birthday and hello. So sometimes I give a second look to stamp set because it has those really awesome greetings. So this is definitely one where the greetings are going to sell me on it. Loving the style, the simplicity of these cards. And then I got this card from Leanne Greff um, and she kind of sold me on it too. So gorgeous. Again, this is that double oval punch. Um, I feel like you could just use that with so many things. All right, we are nearing the end of the bucket. Here is the double oval punch, and it is bundled with oval occasions. So if you like to have some stamps that specifically go with the punch, then you can get this one. But those 
uh, the, the punch is so versatile that it'll, it'll go with many different things. Our last suite is called Well Suited, and we're getting into the sort of the masculine part of the catalog. There's some really great sets um, for making masculine cards for all your favorite guys. This designer paper is called Well Suited, and you can see it is very much um, like textile kind of prints that you would see for shirts and sweaters, and that's exactly what you'll get with this suit and tie dies you can create these cards that look like shirts and suits and um, it is just so so much fun so let's see I've got a whole bunch of cards to share with you so the, this week designer paper and then twine we have uh, the basic gray and knight of navy um, twine as well um, so some of these cards I made let me pull them all to the front I copied some of these right from the catalog so this is one um, I copied this one and I just changed up the colors um, love the little, like the ties in the background, such a fun background for that one. Here's another one I copied right from the catalog. I just switched up the paper and die cut the bows. Um, yes, yes, yes. Carol says upside down, it can be pajama pants. Definitely. But look at how awesome the suit card is. I just copied that right from here. And this pocket square is actually the bottom of the tie. Um, and I just cut it off. So I stamped it twice um, to get to get that. Isn't this really fun? Oh my gosh, this paper is just so amazing. Here's a card by Deb Schneider. This one by Tracy Jacobs has a fun fold. I have to show you this. It's really cool. So it has the, the suit jacket opens up here and then the card opens like that and it tucks underneath the, the bow. Isn't that really cool? Oh my gosh, I could totally see this for a wedding um, for, you know, a special gift for the groom. Here's one, another one. This is Tracy Jacobs again. I don't know how you can see. Let me take it out of the envelope. She used the, um, she scored some lines to create um, like a, a pressed tux kind of a look here. Love that. And then um, this card by Ann Clemmer. Really clean and simple. Sahara Sand and Misty Moonlight. And then this one by Joyce Faracco. This is actually a fun fold. Let me open this up and show you. This is like, um, it has kind of a fun opening. Uh, I haven't made one like this in so long. So you, you can open it like this. And then usually there's some other images in here or you can write another message. So it kind of hides. Um, I don't remember what this is called, but I'll, secret secret panel or something. I'll have to see if I can find it and create a card to share with you. So watch, watch for this. I'll show, I'll show something maybe with my snails. <laughs> I feel like a lot of those images would fit really well in the squares. All right, what do you guys think of Well Suited? Isn't this such a perfect suite for making masculine cards for all your favorite guys? There are some additional stamp sets after this one that are also really well suited for making guide cards like Ride the Range or A Cut Above. I received this swap card from Diana Gibbs using the A Cut Above and then the designer paper from um, Fields and Flowers from the Celebration set. Loved, <laughs> loved Diana's fun card. It says, you make the world look better and the, the grass look greener. What a great card. All right. Oh, another good masculine stamp set here is the Soar Confidently. And so I've got two swap cards using that one. Uh, really like old school here. Love the balloon. And then we've got the, um, what do you, <laughs> I'm out of words. What do you call that? Um, there, oh, there's a name for it, right? I just can't think of it. And then the airplane. So these cards, this one is by um, Eva D. Piazza. And then this one by Betsy Kreider. Love that. And so here is where the blending brushes are. If you're seeing a lot of the blending brushes, they're right here on page 70 of the mini catalog. It's $12 for three brushes. So many different ways that you can blend and color your images. Um, another really great stamp set, this is another million dollar achiever um, stamp set that was inspired by Gail Murray, is this Treasures of Life, a really great one to capture all the all the wonderful moments of being a grandparent. So we've got the um, the hands with the little 
heart that says I love you and the grandpa helping get ready to go out in the winter and grandma with the new baby oh I love 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 that one all right the last stamp set in the catalog is called hot dog and it is so fun this card is by Mel Lamper and she overlapped in the different colors here and added some accessories to the dog so we've got little hats party hats and uh, I think is that like a cone of shame? <laughs> uh, and these two are fun, the little talk bubbles. So here again is those stitched whimsy dies. Don't miss out on those because they are amazing. The rest of the catalog, we have a nice index of stuff. So this is where you're going to find the information for the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. We've got our bundle index back here. So if you like shopping the deals, 10% off all the bundles all the time. Uh, and the 10% off price is what is listed in there. And so you can see, let me just give a close up. You can see it has the, the full price and then the 10% discount price. So the price in bold is the price, including the discount. And there are so many bundles. We've got one, two, three, oh my gosh, four, five, six pages of four. So that's 24, 25, 26 die bundles. And then we have six punch bundles. So lots of options. If you love the coordinating products, whether they be dies or punches, we've got you covered. Back here is the catalog at a glance. You can see all the stamp sets, the designer paper, the dies. So I always love to look at the catalog and then I come back here when I'm ordering because it's easier for me to find all the item numbers and everything's kind of um, easy to look at. So easy ordering back here. Um, we do have this host stamp set. So if you host a party or place an order that's over 150, then you can choose the sweet sampler with your host rewards. So if you're interested in hosting a party during celebration, um, not doing in-person parties, but if you're interested in hosting a virtual party on Facebook or on Zoom, I would absolutely love to do a party with you. So leave me a comment, let me know, and I will be getting in touch with you. We can do lots of different ways where we're sending out um, packets and making them together, or I can demonstrate people can order and then get a packet on the back end. So we'll talk about all those options, but don't forget to get your order in. Celebration and the mini catalogs start today. You can shop with me at juliedavison.com slash shop. Use this host code if you're ordering $40 or more, but less than $150, and you'll get a project kit from me. I'm working on all the December project kits right now, so um, they're always at the first week of the next month so um, you can watch for that and your thank you card if you don't have a catalog yet and you would like one please let me know I'm happy to send you one if you're not working with another demonstrator already and a last reminder reserve your product share and get to try all of the paper and embellishments and ribbon that I showed you today so that you can make your own box of awesome amazing cards if you're interested in joining my team a really great special going on during celebration where you get all that extra paper five packages of extra six by six paper in the different color families when you join before february 28th so leave me a comment if you have any questions about anything that i've shown i look forward to showing you more details of these awesome products techniques designer paper in the coming days weeks and months so be sure to tune in to thursday night stamp therapy every thursday on facebook at 7 10 p.m central time I will see you then. Have a great week.